This is Quina as a Bloomingdale High School senior. She was days away from graduation and was heading to the University of Florida on a full academic scholarship. But 10 years ago today, her life changed forever when she was badly beaten outside of the Bloomingdale Library. She was returning books in the Dropbox when she was attacked. She can no longer see, speak, walk, or eat on her own. But Quina is a survivor. She's come a long way in the past decade. 10 News reporter Garen Flowers visited with Quina and her family today as they show you the progress she's making. It's a fun day for Queen of Food. All right, Queen of, what's up? She's being showered with gifts from friends and people she's never met. Wishing you all the love in the world, celebrating you today and every day. Her birthday is April 22nd, and April 24th is the day that changed her life. A man randomly attacked her outside of a library 10 years ago. But today's story is about her amazing recovery. When we first started, her tone, her muscle tone was so high, we really couldn't budge her legs. And now she's just flowing with it so well. And she's just really come a really long way. Nicole Garcia has been her therapist for a little more than two years. She says despite Queen's condition, the 28-year-old is making big strides and showing a lot of personality. She laughs hysterically when we talk about Trump being president. <laughs> That's always something to make her laugh. <laughs> Or if her dog has an accident, oh, she's hysterical. Derek Perez met Quina through his mom, who gives her massages. Even though she can't talk, they've become good friends. He even took her to his prom. Um, putting myself in her shoes, I mean, imagine just not being able to talk and being stuck in your body, you know what I mean? You would want people to still, you would want to make the best of what you got. Now he's making a documentary and a movie about her life. The perfect person who she loves to laugh around. And last week I, I hit myself in the head with the <laughs> car door. I was so embarrassed. Uh, Somebody she saw me, by she the way. Laughing She's laughing at me. She gives them just as much joy and love as they give her. In Tampa, Garen Flowers, 10 News. The man who attacked Quina was sentenced to life in prison. Her mother told us this is a very emotional day for her. As you can imagine, it is a reminder of that awful day and what happened. But there is a celebration of hope, love, and life coming up on Sunday for Quina in South Tampa. It's from 1 until 5 at the Tampa Women's Club on Bayshore Boulevard right near Beta Bay. We have all of that information for you at WTSP.com. The money raised goes into a fund for Quina's rehabilitation. Many of her therapies are not covered by insurance. I remember that story like it happened mm -hmm. yesterday. Something like that just, just sticks with you, how, how horrible something like that is. I mean, just, you know, had the whole world in yeah. front of her, and then all of a sudden, Scott, right out in front of the library, too. Awful. But it's good to see that she's doing, she's coming along now. Yeah, you can see how, you know, she's, she's, she's still, still there. Spark. She's got that sparkle. Got that yeah. spark. Yeah.